Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. <laughs> Babyface. I told you, you had your opportunity. So, Anthem. Oh, Jesus wept. Uh, <laughs> it's still, believe it or not, less than a year. Just, but it's less than a year since Anthem launched. I think it officially launched, you know, for the masses. I mean, there was a massive complication about what version released when. Oh, it's pathetic. On the 22nd of February. That's when it released for everybody. You know, paupers and all. And, oh boy. It didn't release to how EA wanted it to release. Never mind Bioware, EA. Selling half of the amount of copies that they wanted it to before the end of March. Still sold, I think, in that time period, 3.5 million. Which is, you know, for any company, fantastic. But the point was, the reason why it didn't hit the goals of uh, six plus million is because people realized what the game was. And the game was non-existent, really. Absolutely non-existent. Uh, Mirror had problems with bugs. I'll keep this brief. Uh, but essentially, there was nothing to do in the game. They had their roadmap. They couldn't keep to it. Then they cancelled it. Uh, months down the line, they released the Maelstrom. Uh, the Maelstrom was nothing like it was shown off at E3 2017. And I showed it off. I streamed it. It was a very boring affair. Very generic. Very boring indeed. <sighs> Lead heads kept leaving. Developers keep leaving. And it seemed that the game was just destined to, to die a quiet death. However... According to EA and Bioware, they were still invested in this project for years to come going forward. And in actual fact, they enlisted the help of Kotaku to uh, write an article saying, Oh, Anthem 2.0s are coming. Anthem Next is a coming. Just like No Man's Scam. And the reality of the matter is, folks, what we see. And what we see right here is a tweet from the uh, editor-in-chief of Games Radar. And Sam tweeted this out yesterday on the 7th of February. And it just says, decided to have a dip back into Anthem. I can understand the curiosity factor if you haven't been in for a long time and you want to see if anything's happened in this year window. The fact that all the Christmas decks are still up, made it feel even sadder. Now, you may think that this is a small thing, but it's not. We're on the 8th of February today, 7th of February when this tweet went out. Christmas was six plus weeks ago. But what this says, it doesn't say oopsie doopsie we made a whoopsie poopsie. This says we don't give a shit about our game. This is one of the most apathetic things that you can possibly see. Because the developers and all that have been back off the Christmas holidays. They've been back all through January working on the game. They've been here for this first week in February working on the game. And yet none of them have realized that they still have the Christmas decks up. Now, no disrespect to Sam... But I thought to myself, I got to see if this is actually true. And so I had to reinstall all 76 gigs of Anthem on the old P -ca -pa -ca, personal pucker. And then I decided to see if indeed the Christmas decorations on Anthem were still there. Thanks, Az, from the future. My future, anyway. Not yours. So... I had to reinstall my Anthem because I uninstalled it. It's 70-something gig. I never thought I'd have to be on this thing again. And let's just see if um, <laughs> I can already see Christmas lights. And the snow. The snow and the Christmas lights... Snow decorations. This is this is 
pitiful. More Christmas decorations. This game is less than a year old. And they've just completely lost any desire whatsoever with it. This is... This isn't funny. This is just sad. On the 8th of February. This is just sad. Uh, so Sam was actually quite right because I think I said it's sad. <laughs> and she put it feels even sadder. But sad was the perfect word to just sum it up. It was sad. Because one thing that... Bioware, EA, have not taken into consideration here, of course, and uh, this is going to come as no shock to you, is the customer. Because, just because you as a company, and I, I'm going to use Bioware for this part, just because you as a company might be, let's say, down, because you feel as if you've been uh, hard done by in the development process, mismanaged in the development process, you might be angry, with people leaving the project, lack of leadership, lack of direction. You might have all of that. But the simple fact of the matter is, you have people, no matter how crazy they may be, that have purchased this game and wish to play it. And that sums up your whole attitude. We don't care. And this is what live service thrives at. Because live service isn't developed with the customer in mind. Well, <laughs> that's slightly incorrect. It is developed with the customer in mind, the customer's money. But it's not designed with legitimately giving the customer a, a great experience. It's designed with how to fleece the customer. And if it doesn't work out, do an anthem. Just fuck it. Oh, we got customers. Fuck it. Let's just leave the Christmas lights up because we can't even be bothered to flick the switch and turn Fort Tarsus back to how it used to be before the uh, Christmas event. That's that's how it is. Content? <sighs> nah, it's fine. And another perfect example of this, of course, is Failout 70 shit. Where Bethesda thought, hey, let's get into this live service marketplace. This seems like a great idea to make money off fans. To make money off people that care about our company and our brand. Let's take advantage of them. Not let's look after them. Not let's give them a product that they're going to love. Not uh, let's uh, develop something for the long term, for the future, that, that can go forward with our customer base, no. Let's cash in while we can. And if things don't work out, fuck it. We can just get out of this. We can just get out of this. We can just keep putting content back. We can have our game out for a year and a half before we actually put out the first meaningful bit of content. All through the while, of course, making sure that that cash shop, that atom shop, is fully stocked at all times with new digital shit for people to purchase. And if they're, and I hate to say it again, stupid enough to do so, you get what you deserve. Because they haven't shown anything in this time period that displays that they're sorry in any shape, way, or form that they are truly looking to change this game around. It still looks as garbage as it did on day one and still has plenty and plenty of bugs and emptiness and vacuousness. But there you go. Don't worry. They put a battle royale mode in. And then, of course, let's go to the latest example of not giving a shit about your customers. The apathy from big game developers to their customers. And, of course, we're talking about... Uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged. Let's sell them a bill of goods. Let's go to BlizzCon and say, hey folks, we're doing this and this is what we're going to give you. And it's available to pre-purchase now. And so you believe what they say. You have faith that what they have said is going to come to pass. You hand over your money 
and then they pull everything back. Well, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that. Oh, then it releases and it's bugged and it's broken and it's a mess. Oh, this is not what you said it would be. Can I have my money back? No! Uh, no, you can't. Until you start throwing things like consumer rights in their faces. And no matter how many times Blizzard says, well, these are our terms and conditions, they mean shit to consumer rights in your country. That's what they have to adhere to. And so, of course, they were ultimately forced to turn around and go, fine, if you want a refund, you can get in refund. But boy, God, did we have to fight for it. Did people like myself and Yong Ye and other people all over the place who've been making videos have to scream and shout about this. People who went to the Reddit forums, the actual uh, Warcraft forums, scream and shout about this. That's where we are as customers now. Because big business, they don't care what you want. They just care what's in your wallet. There you go, folks. February the 8th, 2020. It's still Christmas in Anthem. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media, Twitch for Live strumming links. They're in the description box down below and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.